So if you're wondering where I've been for the past month and a half, although I doubt anyone was because I have a pitiful 5 subscribers, I've been working on a Roblox game. Now that it's finally done, I can upload this video on how I made it. This is by far the biggest project I've done on this channel, so I hope you enjoy the video. So my idea for this Roblox game was basically that a bunch of players would be trapped in a map, with one of these players' goal being to hunt down all the other players. The other players would try and escape by activating computers that once all activated would open doors for players to escape out of. If a player escapes, they win. If the monster kills everyone before the others can escape, the monster wins. After coming up with this 100% original concept that totally hasn't been done a million times before, I got to work. Hello everyone, so we're just gonna get right into the video. We're just gonna call it Warehouse because I already wrote down some ideas for the game. Working title. This is gonna be a big video, I think. It's been a while since I was in Roblox Studio, probably a couple months. Hopefully I remember everything. On day one, I set up some basic stuff like how the generator minigames would work, and I made a placeholder map to test things in. On day two, I continued to work on the generators. I added more minigames to them so that they were more interesting to solve. So what I plan on getting done this video is basically proper teleportation into the actual uh, thingy, basically. What I meant to say here is that I wanted to get teleportation from the lobby area of my game into the actual game area, which is what I worked on in day three. On day four, I worked on a system for players to return to the lobby after a game is finished. On day 5, I continued to fix issues with the lobby system because there were tons of bugs and glitches that I still needed to fix with it. Okay, so right now we're at a pretty happy, we're at a pretty good stage basically. I don't know, I don't think today's a really good day to work on this, but I'll still try. It's just that, I don't know, I'm not feeling great. I don't know why, but I just wasn't feeling great on day 6, so I don't think I actually did much work on the game. I can't really see any evidence of work, so I'm just going to assume I didn't do much. On day 7, it looks like I started working on having the game make one of the players a monster. It's a little hard to figure out what I'm doing just from looking back at the footage, so I think next time I do a big project like this, I think I'll keep a log of what I actually did on each day just for future reference. On day 8, I made it so whichever player was the monster could kill people, and the dead players would be sent to a little box outside the main area. Playing in the background is some footage I found that shows this happening, although it's kinda hard to see what's going on at this stage. Okay, so we are back and I have a few things I want to do today. I have come up with a few things that I want to do basically. One of those things is I need to overhaul the map and I need to give my game a theme. There's two themes that I was thinking of, SCP and the Backrooms, because they're both, they're both popular and they're both used widely in horror games and my game is supposed to be a horror game. So, yeah. I've chosen the Backrooms purely because the environment's easier to make and I'm lazy. So yeah, on day 9 I completely remade my game's map since I thought it needed a theme instead of just being set in this weird brick area. What you're seeing now is the end result of me working on it for a while. On day 10 I continued fixing a few issues that were caused the day before with switching out all the materials. I had to rewrite some of the generator code since it kept causing the camera to break for some reason but I fixed it in the end. On day 11 I added a spectator mode into the game for players who had died so that they weren't just staring at a wall until the game finished. It was a little broken at the end of the day so I knew I would have to fix it eventually. On day 12 I added an end screen for when the game was finished that would display different messages based on the outcome of the game. For example, if all players had escaped the back rooms it would say that, and if they all died it would say that none of them escaped. Real quick video tonight, what we are doing is we are making the map a little bit more interesting. That's all they're doing. Up until this point, the map had just been a large room, which really isn't that interesting for a game like this. To be fair, the map I made wasn't too interesting either, it was just a big maze, but it was better than what I had before. This is the first time I've worked on the game in like a few days. I, uh, I took a bit of a break. On day 14, I made it so that the generators spawned randomly around the map, so that players couldn't just memorize their spots and beat the game too easily. I didn't end up getting it working though, so I had to continue working on it on day 15. On day 15, I finished off making the generators spawn in randomly, and like I said earlier, I had to finish off the spectator system because it was a little buggy when I stopped working on it before. At this point, I was around halfway through making the game, and I was getting a little tired of working on it, since I didn't think it would take this long to make, so even though it was day 15, the game was probably around two thirds done at this point. On day 16, I added more exit doors around the map so that the monster couldn't just guard one when the game finished. Then I tried testing out the game with a few of my friends, which was pretty interesting. <laughs> Hello! Oh, that's a problem. Nah, I'm done playtesting now. I'm gonna leave. I just wanted to test it for a bit. On day 17, I came up with an idea for the players to have an ability to see the generators through walls for a few seconds. 
but the ability had to charge up over time. You can see some footage of me working on it right now. On day 18 I tried adding a stamina system into the game so that you could sprint, and I also worked on the see-through walls ability that I started on the day before. I have over 6 hours of footage from day 19 so I would have worked on a ton of different things. I think day 19 was the day I worked on the game the most as there were 7 different videos of game footage. I did a few things on day 19 such as starting to add in sound effects, finishing off the stamina system and the see-through walls ability and testing out the game with 6 different people which was pretty interesting. Here's some footage from playtesting. Oh, okay guys, it's a bit glitchy guys. There's a few, few little issues. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, there's like a few issues. On day 20, I decided that I needed to completely redo the game's lobby system because the current one was really janky and I had an idea for a better one in my mind. The only problem is that I was worried that I would completely break my game by redoing the code and it would ruin everything. Luckily it all turned out alright in the end, but it could have gone really badly. On day 21, I didn't add anything new, I just worked on fixing bugs and glitches, which isn't too interesting. On day 22, I modelled a monster for my game in Blender. Unfortunately, I lost all the footage of me making it, but you can see it exported into Roblox. I tried getting the monster working in Roblox, but it was really difficult getting it to sync up with all the animations, so this took a few days to get working. On day 23, I made some animations for my monster in Blender, and luckily I actually have the footage of this. It was really difficult to get the animations working in Roblox, so it took a few more days for me to get that working. On day 24, I kept trying to get the monster model to work with my game, but I was having issues with animations and collision. This was proving to be a much harder task than I thought it would be. On day 25, I finally got the monster model working properly in game, as you can see here. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out, since now I know how to add custom characters into Roblox games, which might be useful in future projects. From day 26 onwards, I pretty much just fixed bugs and added small details into the game, like a roaring animation for the monster, which you can see here. Unfortunately, I messed up the footage for day 27 and it's really zoomed in. I didn't work on anything important anyway, it's just more bug fixes. I'm gonna group day 28 and day 29 together since I just worked on any last bug fixes for the game. There really isn't anything interesting to show. Finally, on day 30 I uploaded my game to Roblox. This was surprisingly easy to do and it only took around half an hour. I was glad that I was finally finished with this project after I uploaded it. After I finished my game, I decided to test it out with my little brother so I could show it off in this video. So here's some footage of me playing it with my little brother. I took a trip to the hood so I could make it out. Oh my god, nothing's loading in. Alright, so where are you? Ah, oh, sprints, it doesn't work. Oh my god, okay, whatever, I guess sprints will just work. Okay. Are, you, are you there? Hello? Ah, what the f- the animations are so messed up. Okay. Yeah. Oh well, I guess that, that sucks. Like, can we play one more round? One more. Just so I can, because I want to be a worker. Bye bye. I'm about to win. Okay, the animations aren't working. I don't know. I don't know why. Oh well, you know, I don't even care at this point, guys. I don't even care. All right. <laughs> well, this just about wraps up the video. If you're still watching, then thanks so much for the support. Until next time, goodbye.